Welcome back to Advent of Him 2025. Today is already day 23, so we're almost at the finish line here. Today's topic is mastering help. That's what I always tell you, right? Go into Vim's help and learn more there. There are a few things you might want to know to get around Vim's help quite efficiently. But first, again, special thanks go out to my YouTube channel members, my YouTube super chatters and thankers, and my GitHub sponsors. Thanks for your support. Hi, my name is Marco. Let's get started. Vim has so many features and you don't have to memorize everything, but you should know how to find everything. And that's where the Vim help comes in. It's one of the most comprehensive help systems I've ever encountered. And it's right at your fingertips, right within Vim. A great starting point to learn more about Vim's help is just typing in help. Let's make this the only window here. And this is a great starting point as you get good explanation of the basics here, like moving around, how to close this window, jumping to this subject, like if I wanted to go to the bar section, I could use control closing square bracket, for example. And then you can utilize control O for the jump list to go back here. And an alternative for that would be control T, which also brings you back here in this help tag navigations thing. Let's get rid of the highlighting here. Or you could actually use a double click if you have enabled your mouse to actually also jump here to this. And if you again wanted to use the mouse again, you can use control right mouse to go back. So these few things really allow you to quickly navigate the help system here. Let's go back to the other buffer here. Of course, you can only type H as a shortcut here and you would be inside the help section. And of course, if you wanted to look up something specifically like the text objects we covered in the last video, for example, you could just give the help command this as an argument. And now you're directly in the help section for text objects. You could close this window with control W Q, for example. So previously when we opened the help, a new window appeared, but there are other ways to open the help. So for example, we could use tab and then help and then let's say delete. You see, we have this new tab open here where the help opened in just a new tab. You can of course navigate tabs with GT and G capital T, but we're going to close this again here. And we can also use a vertical in front of the help command to just open a vertical help window here. So we could split the screen. So that's, yeah, let's use the windows thing for that. So the windows help thing opened up in a split here. Sometimes I like to use these split views because I can then reference the help on the one side and can work on my actual buffer on the left side. And of course, this is just another window here. So we could move this to the other side and do all the window commands you can do with windows. If you want to know more about that, look at one of the previous videos. Let's close this window again. Something else I want to show you regarding the help here is the user manual help page. This is actually a complete user manual, like tutorial style manual. It's always available right inside Vim here. Let's make this the only window here to have a little bit more space. And let's just jump around here a little bit. So you have a few sections here. There's the getting started sections with some, some more subsections here. You can also, of course, navigate to one of those here and navigate back. And these are basically meant to read them from, from start to finish here. So it's not a reference manual, but it's really a tutorial style thing. So this is actually really helpful if you're just getting started and just want to learn everything by following a tutorial. So if you like tutorial style self-learning, this might be the section for you. On the other hand, there's something that's kind of the opposite of this. You can use the quick ref keyword here. And this here is a quick reference guide to Vim and it's basically like a cheat sheet. Let's just scroll a little bit here and you see there's some, some short explanation to all kinds of things. And of course you can jump to the, to the other sections here again to get to the real reference or the bigger reference help file here and can get a little bit more of information to any of these items that are covered in the quick ref. So this is really useful if you want to just look up some something quickly here. You can also think of it that the user manual is like for learning them. The quick ref is to just remembering stuff you already learned to quickly look it up. And the reference manual is to really understand it to get a deep dive. But let's talk about something else here. So what if you just want to know something more about uh, default key mapping like control R, something like that. You can actually use the help to just directly jump into the help file of control R. But maybe this is not the correct section. Maybe you wanted to see what control R does in insert mode. What you could do then is use the prefixes here. So for insert mode, there's the I prefix followed by an underscore, and then you would type in control R. And now we jump to the insert mode section of what control R does. So the default normal mode key mappings don't have a prefix, but the other modes all have a prefix. So if you wanted to look up the things for visual mode, for example, 
you would prefix it with the V underscore. Let's see what control R does in visual mode, for example. And here we are. You can also do that for command mode. So C underscore control R brings us to the command mode section for control R. And that's really useful. What if you wanted to know something more about a certain X command? So like a command that works in the command line here with the, with the colon in front of. So you can look this up with colon and then the name of the command. So for example, if you wanted to know something more about the global command, you can use global again with the, with the leading colon and you would jump right into this. This also works for the shortcut. So if I type in H colon G, we would land here. And also like help colon norm would take us to the normal command here. If you wanted to know more about certain options, you can simply use the option name, but surrounded by single quotes. So for example, for the number option, you would use this. And now we are at the number option section in the help file. So otherwise, if you just would have searched for number, for example, you wouldn't land on the option. But in this example, you would land here at the number command, actually. So maybe you want to look up some function that's defined in Vim. You want to maybe script it for some reason. You want to write your own plugins or something like that. Then you can use help, the function name, and the opening and closing parentheses here. This will always bring you to the actual function that's called like that. So every function is defined with the opening and the closing parentheses after the function name in Vim's help. And of course, help files are all just buffers. So if you wanted to search within one of those, for example, for a string with something we can see on the screen here, you would see that you can just use this. And of course, all your normal motions like Control D, Control U, Control F, they all work just as you might expect. At least for moving around, you can't actually change the buffer because it's a read-only buffer. Something else that's really helpful, if you just want to search through the help files for keywords, you can use help grab for that. And I don't know, maybe you want to search for magic. And you notice we jump here to a word that's not the section heading or something. It's just like magic here in the, in the middle of the screen. And here on the bottom, you see we are on match one of 132 help grab found within the Vim help files. You could use copen to open the quick fix window and see all the other things. In the usual ways, you can navigate the quick fix list. So you could use cn to go to the next one or c previous to go to the previous one. Or the other usual ways you can work with the quick fix window here. You can, of course, also jump down here. And if you press enter here, you would jump to the place where help grab actually found the word in the help files. And if you want to learn more about the quick fix list, I already got another video on my channel. I'll link it in the description below. I want to show you one more thing. Let's go to the vimrc file. And I had the global mark from one of the previous videos where we covered vim mark. So I just jumped to my vimrc here and let's make this the only window again. And let's say I'm going to go on the number word here. I can press shift K, so capital K, and this also will bring me directly into the help file here. So when I was editing this video, I noticed that I messed up again. I hadn't recorded sound for a big part of it. So I had to re-record like the last, I don't know how many minutes again. So I hope this video was coherent anyway, and you can hit the like button if you liked it. Please also hype it, subscribe to my channel, or use one of the membership options that are available. I'm really happy the list is really growing in, in the last few days. Thank you all for that. Of course, you can also use GitHub sponsors or Kofi to support me in other ways. Thank you so much for watching. See you around and take care.